Hello friends, Aston here. So it's been a long time since last video and uh, today I'm going to show you a new project related to the Google Blogger. So if you are a Blogger user, uh, you are using blog, blogger.com for posting your article or something like this. And uh, here, right, right now on the left side of my screen here, I have this draft to basically do this draft uh, view here to match my post and here I I am able to you know get this count here this view count for every single post however uh, on the on the you know public view here uh, the users won't not be able to see the same basically this count here in your in your article okay and the only thing you can do right now um, is this total page view for all of your posts. You can do this uh, in your settings. But the problem we're trying to solve here is basically how can we grab this value and put it here in our post. So that's the, basically that's the challenge here today. And uh, I'm going to show you a solution here today in this video, all right? So let me show you a demo here. Right now, this is uh, 68. And um, if I refresh, I hope uh, so right now it's increased by one, right? And here is not updated. So I need to refresh this page too. And now you will see here 69. So it seems like he's mapping uh, this data to here. But actually, uh, it's, it seems like he's, he's mapping the data from here, but actually it's not, okay? Because uh, I checked their API, and uh, unfortunately, we can. So this in the current API, this 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 property for the post views is not in their API. So that means uh, we we are not able to use this API to get this data. So, and then uh, I, I basically I found a alternative solution here, and I like to share it with you. So basically. I built all of this with App Script, and I'm going to show you how to set this up. Okay, so, uh, so it's going to like this. So this is basically this is the this is this uh post. This is this test post. So, uh, you will see if I go to the compose view here. So here you will see this is basically a paragraph here, and I'm planning to add this view here. So right now this this view this is empty right and so uh, if we go to the html view here so we have a span tag here with the ideal views so what i'm planning to do here i have a script here to you know uh to grab the quantity from our web app okay like an api so we grab the data from our app script project and then after we get this data and then we update this tag, okay, we put the count here, and after that we have a quantity in the post. So this is basically all of this script is doing here. And um, to do this, so we need to do some configurations. So basically you need to make a copy of all of this code here. And uh, um, we have four, uh, five configurations you need to do. So first, you're going to have an API like this. I'm going to show you how to do this a, a deployment and get a URL like this. I'm going to show you later. And then after you have this deployed as a web application, I'm going to share the script for you for sure. And then we have this block ID and the post ID. So in the URL, so this is going to be your block ID and this is going to be your post ID okay so you can get it from the URL of the current post so you need to do the change here uh, for your own you know post and this, this is the force here um, item for here is basically uh, so right now when we are trying to refresh the post so every single time even I uh, every time I refresh I'm the same user so as you can see, the post view keep growing, even I'm the same user, right? I'm visiting this every five seconds or something like that. So it's keep growing. So if you want to remove a little bit of this duplication, you know, visits, 
and you can set up a you know a cache for so basically if you put this number so like if i'm trying to uh, remove some duplication may duplicate it visit in 30 minutes so if i visit this website this post for the first time and uh, if i revisit this page in 30 minutes and uh, our server we're going to ignore this visit we're going to basically but but google it seems like google won't do that google keep counting keep adding this uh, this these views uh, to the their, their calculation but if you want you know uh, do something similar to like a duplication removal or something like that so you can use it but for now you can keep it at zero so if you keep it at zero it's going to ignore that and it's going to do very similar I think it's almost the same so every single visit from anywhere even the same user with the same browser and they're going to keep adding the uh, the post views so this is optional if you want to you know uh, reduce some post views you can do that and uh, the last one is also optional so this is basically the idea of the post views and uh, in this sample here so I want to update this tag right I want to put this value count here right so this is ID of this tag and if you want to put it somewhere else you just uh, need to reorganize this this line of code right and if you have a different ID like if this is the count and uh, you make sure you update this ID here to count so in this way the script know where to render or where, where to update the count for you right so I'm going to change this to views this to views and uh, so basically for every single post make a copy of this sample code maybe including this tag here and uh, append them to your post and for this where you you can put this anywhere in your post if you want to add it, put them in the top position you just need to you know move it to the first line right and uh, then do an update for the post ID then you should be good to go and uh, if I'm trying to do an update for this one now it's saved views and uh, let me do a test here so so this time <laughs> the post view so you will see here we have an animation here uh, because we are trying to fetch the, the the post views from our backend and then we do an update here and then this is 69 and if I'm trying to reload here so this is 69 uh, let me show you the, how the cache is working uh, so if I go to the post here and if I'm trying to add a 30 minutes here I'm trying to update this so that means uh, if I go to this update it and so this time if I'm trying to refresh this page I should have uh, one post added one post view added and if I'm trying to reload this again because we cached this browser history okay we have a fingerprint for this browser so basically a unique key almost unique uh, key for the current browser and the current user and uh, now because we cached this visit history for 30 minutes so only uh, after 30 minutes I visit this page again with this browser then it's going to increase one uh, for this okay in our backend but if I'm trying to reload here as you can see the count here is different now because we just remove some you know like duplicate visit from the same browser or the same user uh, so it's basically this is basically what this uh, settings here is doing here okay for this uh, item for here so you can keep it zero 
and then is very similar to uh, to the the can the the method they are using by Google to do the calculation for the pay the post views, okay. So that's basically uh, all the configuration you need to do, uh, in the blog post. And uh, I'm going to show you next. I'm going to show you how to deploy the project and get this URL. All right. So. So first, uh, you need to make a copy of my project, okay? And I'm going to share the link. You should be able to find it in the description of this video. So I'm going to make a copy of this one. And I'm going to say this is for demo, okay? So I'm going to so basically, we are not using any any data in the spreadsheet. We are using a a script which is attached to this file. Okay, so go to the in the new file, go to the extensions and open the script editor. And uh, so in this post.html code, this is basically a template code you can copy from. Okay, you can copy from here and uh, add it to your post. And this postviews.js this is our backend code and uh, to get so we have a do get a method here or function here for deploying uh, this project as a web application so we can do a so for the first time make sure you're doing a new deployment and uh, if this web application is not selected make sure the web app, web app is selected and uh, Give it some description for this deployment and uh, execute as yourself and anyone and then click on deploy in this way you will be able to get a url and after you have this uh, url ready for you and copy this url and go to the post html and what you can do you can just replace this URL here and save it. And then you can copy all of this code. And uh, let me go to my post. I'm going to make a test here. So I'm going to pass the code and I'm going to say YouTube demo and I'm going to put this post view ID here and this URL should be updated already and the only thing I need to do I need to make sure the blog blog ID should be the same because this is from is my blog and then you need to update the blog ID and this is the post ID okay to double check and then uh, if you want to cache the visit, you can do a change here. If you don't want to change it, just need to update the blog ID and post ID and then publish. All right, so the view is zero. And uh, let me grab the URL. And I'm to visit here uh, to make sure is working as expected you probably get number one here yeah so this is number one and if i go to the project here and if i go to the project settings so you will see where the data is saved so this is basically the block id the property here so with a unique key by combining the Po, uh, the block ID and the post ID. This is the post ID, and after the slash, this is the block ID. And right now, the count is one, right? The post view is one. And uh, if I'm trying to refresh this again, and then this is two, but if I'm trying to verify the, the log here, so it's zero, <clears throat> should get two visits. So for this demo here is to visit, right? 
So that's basically how to set this up. Okay, so the process I think should be very easy. Make a copy of the project and uh, do a deployment and get the URL and in the code uh, in the sample, the post sample here, uh, update the API URL here for your own project and then copy the code and paste to your blog uh, post and uh, make sure the post ID is updated. So I think uh, that's going to do the, uh, the solution to show the post views to, to your blogger.com. Okay, so I think that's all for this sharing. And let me know if any questions. Thank you. Bye bye.